The Englishwoman who wrote Frankenstein said that the name of Italy has magic in its very syllables. And I say the whole Italian language has magic in its syllables. So come a little closer. I'm going to tell you 11 irresistible reasons to learn Italian. La passeggiata is a traditional evening stroll through the streets that Italians do. People just go walking about, gossiping, flirting, having a drink. It's like an art form and this ritual is only the beginning. When you arrive in Italy, it won't take long for you to see what all the fuss is about, especially if you head out to the small towns like Polignano Amare. I promise you, you'll get a far more authentic experience if you can speak even just a little bit of Italian. The thing is though, even though you can get by with English in the touristy areas, as soon as you leave the city, most Italians don't speak any English. But let's say you're at a beginner level in Italian where you are comfortable with simple conversations. You can practice on the small town locals and this way you're really going to get the most out of your trip. But even in popular destinations like Venice, the Amalfi Coast, Sorrento, speaking Italian will help you find the hidden gems and the hidden gelato, which is really the point in Italy, is it not? You want to be at ease, chat to people, say yes to everything. In other words, have a full and satisfying Italian adventure. But if you're nervous, I get it. Maybe you've never learned a foreign language before and it's so scary that you keep putting it off for one day. You've got to stop that because guess what? If your native language is English, Italian is the best option to attack your fear of learning languages. See, Italian sounds are pretty easy to wrap your mouth around and it's very helpful to start off with foreign words you can actually pronounce. It's a big advantage for a beginner. Ragazzi, ma ci vogliamo vedere quel film nuovo che è uscito adesso, quello pluripremiato, acclamato dalla critica. See, hear those vowels? Italians are really good at saying their words clearly and thanks to most words ending in a vowel in Italian, it's pretty phonetic and easy to catch. So what happens when you begin an Italian course is you can start saying things from day one. It's really not too hard. So if I were to say that in Italian and I stopped you in the street, I'd say, uh, Scusi, sa dove l'ufficio postale? Sa dove l'ufficio postale? Do you know where the post office is? In fact, something that I love personally about learning Italian was how the words read the same way that you say them, because it means that once you know how the letters sound, you can read something in Italian out loud even before you know the meaning. Trust me, the meaning will follow with a little time. You can actually see how this works in my story learning course if you go that particularly good route. So, was, wie geht's dir? Ich habe, ich habe österreichische Fonte aus. Österreich, ja. Und ich lerne österreichische Deutsch, weil ich habe die österreichische Fronte. Listen, it is very hard to be interesting in Vietnamese in just three months. But if you want to be a polyglot, well, start with Italian, then move on to the harder languages. Italian is relatively simple to pick up. In fact, it made our list of easiest languages for English speakers to learn. For starters, Italian and English share plenty of cognates and lots of Italian words have already sneaked into our vocabulary. Did you know that I actually challenged myself to learn Italian in three months and I documented the whole thing. It's all, it's all here for you to see. Every single week there are updates for over three months. So if you plan to learn five languages as fast as possible, Possible, as fast as possible even, well learn Italian first, get yourself to a B2 level and you'll be ready to tackle the next language. Actually you'll be even better at tackling the next language. Lots of people do this, start with a language like Italian, then go on to French or Spanish or Portuguese and they don't feel quite so daunting because you've sort of figured out how to decode a romance language. Check this out. But don't stop there, now put some Turkish on your plate. And if you love videos like this, well, there's one coming up for each language that we teach here at Story Learning, which is pretty cool. Just make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and then you will hear about them just as soon as they're released. Okay, so we've covered Italian being an easy strategic move for language learners, but what if, I dare say, you don't need a good reason to go for it? Italians have things like dolce far niente, 
for goodness sake. You, you've got to take that and run with it. I mean, Italian was the language of some of the greatest painters and poets of history, maybe one of the most beautiful languages in the world. And you know what? Your personal enjoyment is extremely important for your own well-being and your health. Seriously, don't just do languages for a practical reason. I give you permission to learn a language just for pure escapism and joy. Fill your senses with centuries-old art. Dig into movies like La Dolce Vita while eating that secret gelato. Sweep someone off their feet with your cool Italian playlist that you just happen to be singing along to. Go on, give yourself goosebumps because this reason to learn Italian is all about pleasure. People will often say, what are you studying Italian for? They only speak Italian in Italy, but this is not true. You should get in there while you can. It might not have the same relevance as French or Spanish on the world stage, but Italian is also important. The world is changing. Italy is coming out to play. And here's the thing. Italian is a niche language skill, meaning far fewer people actually learn it, and people don't realize how rare it is or its importance in the working world. How many of these world famous brands do you recognize? The fast cars, the fashion, Peroni and Martini. You might not even realize they're all Italian brands, but in many countries, they are everywhere. Made in Italy, brand value is really strong and they're known throughout the world for their exceptional quality. What I'm trying to say with all these is that Italian is relevant and one of these days many people are going to wish they'd paid more attention to Italian. Be part of the future and if you're enjoying this story well this whole channel is full of stories about language learning and if you're interested in learning Italian through the power of stories well you can because at Story Learning we actually teach languages through stories and the reason is that stories are the best way that I found to learn any language because stories are how we learn naturally, it's how we learn our first languages and we can use stories to learn a new language like Italian as well. So if you're interested in learning Italian through the power of story, click the link below in the description and you'll get free access to a story learning kit that I've created that will show you exactly how to learn Italian through the amazing power of stories. Click the link in the description. The best way to get a job in Italy is by being really, really good at your job, but you're also not going to hurt your chances by speaking a little bit of Italian. In fact, I wager it's pretty much essential. Italy is one of the world's top economies and over 7,000 American firms do business with Italy and may even have branches in Italy. Some growing fields are marketing and IT management and I hear there is a strong demand for more traditional work as well like woodworking and weaving, not to mention the shortages list which includes doctors, engineers and programmers. But getting a job in Italy is not going to be particularly easy. I'm listing this reason to learn Italian for those of you who have the right combination of skills and qualifications to give it a go because the one thing that will make you stand out is knowing the language. Usually you even have to submit your job application in Italian. If you only speak English, the competition is gonna be rather too high. On the other hand, if you speak English and Italian, well, you're pretty valuable then. Actually, casual work like summer jobs, teaching English or temporary contracts in tourism can be much easier to find. So get yourself the experience that makes an Italian company want to hire you and then learn Italian. Now on the topic of speaking practice, finding a speaking partner is one of the most fundamental parts of any language learning journey, whether that's a kind of professional tutor to help you learn or a speaking partner to help you practice. You need it. If you're learning a language from home, it makes everything so much easier. But finding that person who you really enjoy learning with, who really actually helps you learn, can be really difficult. I've lost count of the number of tutors I've tried over the years, and it can be really difficult to find that person. In recent times though, I've been getting all of my language lessons from Languatalk. And Languatalk is a website where you can find tutors from all over the world who teach lots of different languages. And the reason that I've stuck with Languatalk is that the website for a start is so easy to use. One of the features I most like about it is that I can select the times that I want to take lessons and then I can actually filter tutors who are also available in that time. So it kind of just cuts down on this whole faff of figuring out, okay, when are you available? When am I available? You can get that accurate right from the start. And for me, Languatalk really is the best place to connect with tutors on the internet right now to help you get that speaking practice. And full disclosure, here at Story Learning, we actually like Languatalk so much that we have invested in the company because we really want to be a part Part of this mission to provide the best service possible for people who want to connect with tutors. And if you'd like to try it out, well, you can get a free trial lesson with most of the tutors there. You can click the link in the description below that will take you over to Languatalk. And if the link is working correctly, you should see a little message pop up from me welcoming you to the site. So link in the description, check out Languatalk. Now back to the video. Imagine being part of an Italian research expedition at sea. If you love nature and want to do something for conservation, there are awesome opportunities in Italy. For example, along Laco Ameno on the island of Ischia, which is in the Tyrrhenian Sea, you can live aboard a sailboat for a month and learn about dolphins and other sea creatures. I know about this from a marine biologist friend, 
Don't say I don't share the good stuff here. You'll work as an assistant to real researchers, monitoring and collecting data. So knowledge of Italian is extremely helpful and depending on the project, they might require it. You'll find other similar opportunities in ecotourism with a simple Google search. Or another way you can volunteer in Italy is with NGOs, helping migrants who arrive through the Mediterranean or check out Workaway. They have tons of cool opportunities to live with an Italian family and help them out. And they usually ask that you speak basic Italian. Be careful. Dovai. Ma dovai. Perfetto. Perfetto. Buonissimo. Mamma mia, che sciccheria. <laughs> when you don't know what to say, use your hands. Actually, use your face and your whole body too, and do it with attitude, because nobody uses their body to communicate like Italians do. I'm surprised they don't have an entire dictionary of unspoken feelings. Wait, they do? Since 1958? Well, okay then, most people embarking on an Italian course don't realize at first that there's this whole other world of gestures that they can explore. And if you want to talk like a true Italian, you shouldn't leave out this essential part of the language. Believe it or not, I just realized this book was actually inspired by another book from 1832. That's right, listen to this review. As a chronicle of the salty doings of a richly theatrical city, gesture in Naples is unsurpassed. Well, this is exactly why it's such a laugh learning Italian gestures. You can get hold of some fun old classics like these. Watch Italian YouTubers to learn the ropes. And hey, even keep an eye on this channel because I might have something up my sleeve. Tuoi occhi sono radianti come il sole. I tuoi capelli sono come il mare. More, uh, romantic, romantic yeah, guys. Romantic, uh, we have a fashion. Your number? Oh, my number? Yes, yes, yes. In Italian. What the f? Habla sin Oh my god. No, I'm giving my number to a random Italian guy. Italian, it sounds beautiful, doesn't it? So now picture you being the one speaking it. It will do wonders for your self confidence. It will make you a more interesting person to talk to. But I'm not just talking about while you're on your big Italian trip. The truth is, many people around the world consider Italian to be the most romantic and beautiful language on the planet, and they genuinely love and respond to it. And because it's nowhere near as hard as many other languages, you can actually get to a decent level during year one even, where you're talking about interesting topics and looking very, very cool. So chances are, if you know Italian, you're pretty much guaranteed a bucket full of more interesting conversations. This is gonna sound crazy, but many experienced language learners talk about having different personalities in different languages. And I've experienced this many times myself. Perhaps in Italian, you're more self-confident or more cheeky. Some people start acting elegant and sophisticated, or they become very expressive and dramatic and they claim that they just can't help it. But it is a thing and it even has a name, frame switching. So what's going on? Well, language isn't just a bunch of translated words. There are intonation, gestures, accents. The same word in English and Italian might have different cultural connotations. And remember, another language's grammar doesn't always let you express yourself in the exact same way that you would in English. So when there is a new cultural context, you might find yourself acting a little differently just to match it. And sometimes it's just that another aspect of your personality shows up. Like you might normally be quite shy about singing, but then you learn Italian. Amor, al cor gentil ratto s'apprende, prese costui della bella persona che mi fu tolta e il modo ancor m'offende. Dante, what a legend. This line is roughly translated as love that can rapidly seize the gentle heart. But it's so much more than this. There's really no way to feel the perfection of Dante's epic poem except to learn Italian. Trust me, the divine comedy is a masterpiece, and if you think something written in the 1300s won't move you, well, you simply haven't read Dante. It's one of the world's great works of literature, and this alone is a good reason why learning Italian will change your life, and it doesn't end there. Once you can speak Italian, there's a whole world of cool Italian dialects to explore, all of which you will find out about in this video.